everyone, it's me, Jen Williams, Sensi Consultant. So, Halloween is over, and I've done something that I normally won't do until long after Thanksgiving. But I put away all of my Halloween stuff. It was just a year for me. I was done with it. Um, and even though Sensi does have some nice fall type of thing. There's not really anything that I decorate for Thanksgiving. So I have actually pulled out, pulled out my Christmas stuff. Um, so I do have a few warmers around the house. I will show you some of the ones that are available. Um, I do have one out that's from last year that's not available. Um, but I do have some of the Christmas collection that I got in. Um, it's from this year. So I'm going to show you some of those today. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're just like me and it's like too soon, but you need to get them now before they sell out. So the first warmer that I have, oops, his hat is falling off. See, hat's falling off. <laughs> um, so I know gnomes are really, really big lately. Um, so we have Christmas Gnome, which he's a full-size warmer. He is metal, as you probably heard from me almost dropping him. But how cute is he? So he's a returning warmer. Let me pull the cord out a little bit so that you, I can get him further back. Um, so he came out last year, and he was really cute. And I think he sold out last year. I can't really remember, but they brought him back this year. So again, he's a full-size warmer. He is a $50 warmer. And when you turn him on, I'm going to blind myself probably. So he doesn't show a lot of light unless you have him against the wall. He's got these cute little um, snowflake cutouts. And you can see back here the, oh, sorry. Too bright, too bright. Um, when he's off, you can see the um, back of the hat has the opening. Uh, so the fragrance can release through that and like most of the large sized warmers we've got the um the dish and it says that it will hold four cubes and if you're not aware of what a cube is well we have a wax bar each little block is cubes so you can fit four of these in that dish comfortably without having any worries of it um overflowing or spilling so again, just cute little cutouts on the back. I always love the um, the cutouts that they do because usually if um, they have cutouts like this, it displays on the wall behind it. Um, and that's just the inside. Uh, it is a 20 watt bulb. And yes, I'm sorry. I had to think uh, for a while, the 20 watt bulbs did not come in colors. So if color is your thing, you can actually get along with him, like he comes with the clear bulb, but you can order the colored bulbs. So I'm gonna pause the video, the recording, and I'm gonna go get the next warmer to show you guys. So be right back. And I'm back. So since I just showed you Christmas Gnome, I figured I'd show you one of the newer minis that they came out with for this year. And this guy is called Gnome for the Holidays. So, because the big size did so well, they made a mini version. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, so this is a ceramic warmer um, with the minis or night lights as they're called. They have the little um, base that plugs into the wall. And with these guys, there is a button on it so you can switch it. So whatever way your outlet goes, it always works. So these guys, minis are always, well, I don't want to say always because some of the licensed ones are a little more expensive, but these guys are $25 for the, um, the mini warmer. It comes with the 15 watt light bulb. Don't quote me on that. I want to say it's 15. Let me check. Um, yeah. Who is prepared? Not me. Um, 
yes, 15 watt. You can see, probably not, but there's a little etching on the top that tells you the size bulb. Um, I know this looks like a Christmas light bulb that you could probably buy at any store, but I have heard some people say that if you use something that is not a Scentsy branded bulb and something happens, it will void the warranty. So always be cautious of that if you just decide to get something from a regular store. But again, cute little guy. Um, again, his dish is here, same as the big one. The back is opened up. And I love him. He's so cute. So, again, I'll be back in a minute. Here he is lit up against my wall. Please excuse the lack of tile work and rehab stuff because I am in the middle of redoing my kitchen. But you can see the light shining on the back of the wall behind him. Other than that, not a light, a lot of light will come through on him, but it does light up a little bit in the wall. So right now, I'm going to take you through my house with some of the warmers that I have out. Um, I apologize if you see my mess. I am still cleaning up after a kid's birthday, rehab projects, everything. But it's life. I'm a single mom. I have so much time. So this warmer is called Trim the Tree. And it is so pretty. This is actually the one that I bought for myself to share. Um, mainly because I don't really have like, a tree warmer. My mom got one last year and it was just gorgeous. Um, so this is the new one this year. Again, it's called Trim the Tree. You can see all the little cutouts. Let me move it back. Maybe we can see it on the wall behind it. My lovely wood paneling wall that just looks so gorgeous. It's what you get when you buy a house from the 80s, right? So, it's a metal warmer. It's got the little star and then all the little layers. And they pop off. So, you've got the dish that sits here. Regular size dish. Four bar, uh, four cubes. And my goal was with this was I was going to put a green light bulb in it. So that it would show green. And I had bulbs and I was all excited. I get the warmer in, come to find out it uses a 20 watt bulb. All my colored bulbs I have in stock are 25. So you can go down, but you can't go up. So I have to order some bulbs for that. And now the other two Christmassy warmers that I have, I have my Santa Slumber. This one is not available. I just love him. I think he's so cute. I don't have many Santa type things. But the fact that it's a moon, that was just it. So he's pretty much glazed all except for his face. And you pull off the hat. He's got the big dish. You can see all the staining from some of the previous wax. Um, but it's a deep dish too. So um, he's so cute. And then this gorgeous piece right here. This one is called Polar Panorama. And this was a warmer that was a scent, uh, a warmer of the month. I want to say two years ago now almost. And it sold out within minutes. And you can see, I don't even know if the color is going to catch well on this. But this is actually a element warmer. So it's got an internal heating mechanism, not a light bulb. But it has the light feature. And you can see it's got the trees on the outside. And you can see the shadow of the trees on the inside occasionally when the light's just right. Um, and then it's got the twirling lights for the Aurora Borealis. So this is one of my favorite warmers to bring out here. But, again, still a little too soon. But might as well get them out, right? Because all the Halloween ones went away and I needed something there. So, while we are here, get you back in my stand. Sorry. Sorry. Ooh, now I'm crooked. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not the thing and it's just me. All right. So, we're going to take 
a little break from warmers, and we're going to talk about the holiday bricks. So these are giant bars. So showed the bar earlier, regular size bar. These are bricks. So they're about, I think, five and a half normal size bars or six normal bars. I don't really remember off the top. They last forever. Um, <laughs> so every holiday season, we come out with a um, special bunch of bricks that you can only get while they last. Um, so we have five different fragrances available. I don't think any of them are returning. I think these are all new. But um, Icicles and Evergreen is in the catalog as a normal bar, but very popular, so they put it out in a brick. So I don't have the fragrance profiles. I'm sorry. So unprepared for this. Um, but if you'd like to know what the actual fragrance profiles are, you can always go to my website at um, ladyowl.sensi.us. Uh, but, again, we've got Icicles and Evergreen as one. It's obviously very um, foresty sort of smelling, which is not really my thing. I like it, but it's not something that I'm going to be using for the regular everyday stuff. Um, the next one is the Frosted Petals, and you can see I've, I've taken some out to make samples and everything for some of the vendor events that I've been going to. So this one's nice. It's a little florally, florally. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I probably not. My tongue is just whoa, today. Um, but Frosted Petals, it's nice. It's, it's got... It makes me think of some laundry floral, the um, like the dryer sheets that you can get, something like that. So it's not horrible, but it does have a little too much. I think it's got orchid in it. I think that's what it was. Um, but it's got a lot of floral that hits me, and it's one of those ones that if I'm around it too much, I could get a headache. The next one is Winter's Eve, and this one is... It's got like an undertone of um, like a mint and yeah, not my favorite, not my least favorite either, but that one's nice. Like I said, it's not so, it's kind of like walking out on a um, after snowfall in the woods type of scent, if you know what I mean. The next one. I like this one. This is um, caramel chestnut. Pretty much anything with caramel, you're going to get me. So this one has, um, it's kind of cut like a burnt undertone. So if you sit out by like a campfire, that ashy smell after you put it out and everything, it's kind of got a hint of that with like the sweet from the caramel or caramel, depending on how you want to say it. And the last one. This is, this is everything. Um, this is maraschino sugar cookie. So this one actually came out in a bar in the whiff box last December. And <laughs> all the consultants freaked over it. Like there were demands to get it as a normal, regular, um, everyday bar so we could buy it regularly. Because um, you could only get it in the whiff box in December. And I think the whiff box sold out once it started getting out about this, this special bar. So they gave it to us in a brick this year. And this is so amazing. Um, I don't normally, I don't normally like bakery scents. But this one, it's got the sugar cookie. It's got the sweetness of the maraschino cherry. It just is amazing. Um, we did take... Hug in a Mug, which is kind of a chocolatey scent, and we mixed it together a little bit, so it kind of had a um, chocolate-covered cherry fragrance going on in my house for a little bit, but if you're looking for something sweet, this is a good one. Um, the bricks are $24, which is a deal because, like I said, I think it's about like six, 
bars of um, mini uh, regular bars of wax that come in it or you can do a mix and match and buy two bricks for $40 or you could just get two bricks of the maraschino cherry and you know just survive on that for the rest of your sensi life so those are the special bricks that are out right now and you know they're worth checking out i will say that if you want samples send me a message at um at uh, lady Owl's kitchen at gmail.com and i can get some sent out to you so I'm again going to pause the video and we're going to get back to warmers. So hold on just a moment. Magic. I'm back. All right. So this is another mini warmer that we've got out. I'm not going to put all the mechanisms because you saw it with the last one. But this is Be Jolly. So a little kind of Nordic Santa design. Again, as you can tell, it's um, ceramic. And he's got like the cute little um, sweater type thing. My first Christmas holiday season um, as a Sensi consultant, we had a full-size warmer like this guy. Um, and I have him. He's really cute. I just didn't bring him out this year. Um, but very much like the gnome, he's got the little opening in the back. With the size of this, I would say one cube is all you want to put in there. And I would have cotton balls on hand to clean him out because our um, cotton cleanups is not going to fit in this little hole comfortably. Um, you're going to be struggling with that, I think. Uh, but again, he's got the holes on the back. He even has, I'm always, I love the, the um, amount of detail that Sensi puts into it. You can see like his little thumbs and mittened hands back here um so he's he's got a happy little face um so he's cute same as any mini warmer he's it's got a 15 watt bulb base um hang on one second i do have one thing to show you with him check out this little thing so this is one of our Scentsy bases, tabletop base. This is awesome because sometimes you might have a favorite warmer, but you don't want to put it up on a wall. Um, I've had some people that they're concerned about the, um, the sturdiness of their outlets. So this is great if you have limited budget, because again, these guys are only $25, where other warmers are like $35. 40, 50, the trim the tree is like 60, I believe. So you can get the tabletop base for $15. You do want to make sure, one, you know what the warmer is because we have ceramic and glass bases, so the ceramics won't fit on the glass base. But you can now turn your mini warmer into a tabletop warmer. So really fun. I love this. Um, I actually got this base because my daughter wants the ghoulish grip from the, Hall uh, the Harvest Collection, not Halloween Collection, Harvest Collection, um, in her room. But I'm not putting it down on the, um, the floor outlets that they have in their room because that's going to get banged, broken, and get waxed all over the place where the tabletop base will get it on its side table. And be a little safer so that is one thing that you can get this is a cute little set too if you have the base a warmer and a bar of wax um base is 15 25 so we're talking 40 dollars bar of wax another six dollars nice little gift set for somebody that you want to get Something sort of out of the uh, normal um, yeah, so totally lost my train of thought here. Um, <laughs> we're talking about gift giving and I'm like, hmm, what do I want this year? Um, you know, but basically something that's a little 
out of the norm for what you might normally get. Um, and again, it gives the option of having it either as a wall nightlight warmer or a tabletop. So one more warmer to show you guys. Be right back. All right. Last one. So how many of you go camping? And if you do, totally jealous. Um, I was actually looking at getting a camper and probably will not be another year or two. But for all of you camping enthusiasts, how cute is this? I forget what the name is. Uh, <laughs> Christmas camper. Christmas camper. So as you can see, metal warmer. A lot of them were metal this year, I think, or at least the ones I got. Um, but it's got the little lights. No, these do not light up. That would be super cool. But it is a light bulb warmer. And I looked, it uses a 25 watt bulb. So I could have gone upstairs and gotten some of the um, colored ones that I have. So this is going to, yeah, I was going to say, this is going to produce a lot of light. So it's got all these openings. Oh, gosh, sorry. So we've got the windows here. There are two in the back. You probably can see it on my shirt. There's some um, air vents, I guess. I don't know, camper terminology. But there are some lines here and lines on the front. And so a lot of light is going to come out of this one. But it's got a wreath on the end. It's got a wreath on the door. Um, it's got little wheels. It's even got the little hitch. So um, really cute. And I don't know, would that be like the, um, the propane tank? I don't know. Uh, but as you can see inside, light bulb right there, um, we had the antique truck, classic truck. I've seen people put that truck warmer with a camper, really cute setup. I don't think I have the space to do something because this is, this is a pretty big warmer. Like it's the size of my head, as you can see. So it again has the um the little dish that goes on top it is a four cube um dish so again four is the maximum you want to put in i usually i usually go two to three um for the full size warmers just one to make the bar last a little bit longer although with all the warmers i have i usually use a bar um in general every time so again really really cute i like it um so we've got again it's all metal all over everything so that is the last warmer i have to show and that is a 50 dollars warmer so all of these warmers i have shown you at the time of my filming this are still available. So both of the um, the gnome, the camper are fifty dollar warmers. The mini uh, nightlight warmers are twenty five, and the trim the tree is sixty. And I believe don't don't come at me if I'm wrong, but I believe the polar panorama is a sixty dollar warmer. Uh, but that again is in our catalog collection. So. It's available pretty much all the time um, until they decide to get rid of it. But all of that. Um, and then they, um, like I said, they have bundles that you can get. I believe it's four bars of wax. Hold, let me check. Okay. Polar Panorama is $65. And you can get the special promotion bundle for 65 which has some um, random bars of wax. Most of them are not even available at this time. So um, that is something to check out if you like it. I love, it's one of my favorites. Um, one other thing I'm gonna show you is the three bar wax collection, because this is really nice, really, really nice. Um, <laughs> so again, with like the holiday season, holiday collection, we get a three bar bundle. So you can't buy them separately. You have to buy them together. But these are some really good scents for the holiday season. Um, I was very happy. Normally we get some type of like 
pine forest thing. And as I've said many, many times before, not my jam. It is not something I like. It gives me a headache. So I was really happy that there was no foresty scent in this bundle. So the three names of the wax bars are Swirling Snowflakes, Maple Vanilla Glaze, and Cranberry Orange Cider. So, and they, they pretty much, what you're hearing in the names, that's what they smell like. So Cranberry Orange Cider, very heavy on the cranberry and orange scent. Little bit of cider that kind of evens it all out and blends it nicely. I like it. Maple Vanilla Glaze. Um, this one, out of the bunch, I believe that's my, my favorite. But, um, you know, maple. I love pancakes. And this is like just, you know, warm pancakes, syrup drizzled on, that type of like scent. <laughs> Pre-diabetes, <laughs> I stay away from syrup. So, you know, breaks my heart, but that scent does like bring me to that feeling. And then this one's a nice one, Swirling Snowflakes. So this has kind of a minty, frosty scent to it. And I believe this is the one that they put all the specials in. So like they've, um, they give us a fragrance flower in one of the scents of the three bars. Um, and it's Swirling Snowflakes that everything came in. So really nice. I like it. Um, definitely definitely something that will be in my house but again you have to get all three and these are $17 for the set of three and you can only get them unless unless you start a Scentsy Club and what that is is you get to put whatever you want in your Scentsy Club that's a consumable product meaning Things that are going to be used. Wax bars, dish soap, laundry products. Um, I believe pods can go in there too. But they don't give you the special pods. Um, and what they do is you can set it up for either one every month, every two months, or every three months. And they will automatically ship out your order. So I've got my Alice in Wonderland, we're all mad here. That's going to come out next month. Um, and then when they get rid of it, not get rid of, but they put it back in the vault, um, they'll still send it to me. So even though you can't buy it as a regular item on the website, I will still get it every three months because I set my club up that way. And with the clubs, you can do... Like, if you sit there and say, oh my god, I really love swirling snowflakes. I need that regularly. You don't have to have all three go in the club. You can just put that one. So that is one nice thing with the club, one benefit of having a club. Um, and sometimes what I do is I just set something up for a couple months, get a good, like, stockpile of it. And then I cancel it so that I have some on hand because if you saw my wax collection, I am never going to get through that collection in my life. It's going to be something that is handed down to my children probably because I keep getting more. So that is all of the Christmassy holiday season stuff that I have gotten and wanted to share with you. So, you know, give me a like, subscribe. Um, you know, put in the comments, which was your favorite warmer, which would you, you know, want in your house, what fits in, what fragrance, all of that, you know, I loved to hear it. Scentsy is like my favorite pastime. <laughs> so I hope you all have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, whenever you're watching this. Bye.